Hi all, welcome to Clickshare.com. In this video, I'll show you how to create simple geometrical shapes in ClickView. We will be using the text box object to create the geometrical shapes. So let's get started. Let me go to ClickView. And if you see here, I've created some of the shapes here, but you're not seeing all of them. It's because the styling mode is simplified. It should be advanced. What I mean by the styling mode is if I click on the text box object properties and go to the layout tab, you will see a set of properties here, but this is empty right now. And this is because the styling mode is set to simplified. So let me click on OK. Let's go to the document properties. And if you see the styling mode, let's change this from simplified to advanced and click on apply and OK. Now you see all those wonderful shapes. And you can also change the setting as part of your user preferences by pressing Control Alt U. And under the design tab, you will see default styling mode. My personal choice is use the advanced mode. And then let me click on OK. Now let's look at some of the properties of these objects. And let's see how we have achieved these shapes. So let me click on properties and then there are three important aspects here. First one is the rounded corners properties and second one is the squareness and then the third one is the corner radius. So rounded corners is pretty simple. You have four checkboxes, top left, top right, bottom left and bottom right. You can check whatever you wanted. In this case, I've checked the top right and then the bottom left. That's why you can see the curve here. And then the squareness. You can have a value between 1 to 100 and where 100 being the absolute square or without any rounded corner. So let me change that to 100. And if you wanted, you can change this to 2 as well where you can see the curve which is the rounded corner. There we go. You can see that curve here. And then the corner radius. You can specify the corner radius either as fixed points or as a relative percentage. I prefer using relative percentage. So let me click on OK. And let's look at how we've achieved this shape. Let me click on properties. And if you see here, I've checked bottom left and bottom right and the squareness is 2 again and the relative percentage is 100. So if you wanted, an inverted U, then you can do this and uncheck these two. There we go. So let me undo this. And now let's look at the third one, properties. And then here I've checked only the top left hand one. That is why you can see the curve and nothing else. And the squareness is two. And we can change this to relative percentage again. Click on OK. And let's see this one. This looks interesting. Click on properties and here I've checked the top right and then the bottom left and the squareness is one instead of two because we wanted the crisp shape. So you can either have it one or you can also choose two here, but you will see the rounded corners there. There we go. And you can also select 100 if you wanted. So I prefer choosing one because this is a unique shape. And then uh, again, the relative percentage is 100. Let's look at the circle, properties, layout, and then rounded corners. I've checked all of them and the squareness is 2 and the relative percentage is 100. So you can play around with the combination of these three properties and you can achieve different shapes. And I'm sure it'll be useful to use these shapes as part of your navigation buttons in your ClickView application. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And I would encourage you to participate in ClickView question of the day where I ask ClickView questions and you can answer them to assess your ClickView knowledge. You would see the instant results and you will also compare the results with other developers and designers. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me go to my blog. And I've already loaded this page. And if you see here, I've asked 119 questions so far and you can choose one of the answer and click on continue, you will instantly see the result. You will also see an explanation whether you are right or wrong. You will also see how you compare with other developers and designers. You can also access the archived questions by clicking on this hyperlink. So thank you for watching. Good luck. Cheers.